What's poppin' everyone? You got your coach of the Chim Chargers here today for our week nine team builder of the WBE. And we're currently seven and one with a plus 30 differential, which is pretty solid. I think we're tied in first uh, in first place or in first seed so far um, with Wolf Glick, who is actually also seven and one with a plus 30 differentials. That's pretty cool. Kind of the uh, competition to try to get to number one seed, I guess, with him at least. Um, and we were, we were supposed to play uh, Shady Penguin this week, coach of the New York Mankeys. However, um, you know, he had to go on vacation on Wednesday, so we had scheduled for uh, Tuesday initially. But, um, you know, when, when that time came, he, he didn't really have a team prepared or he didn't really prepare for this matchup. So he was going to give me the 6-0 forfeit win, but I didn't really want to take that because, uh, you know, that, 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 it's not really that fun. You know, I, I want to actually play a game. So I went to A-Drive, you know, I told him about it and I said, you know, what if we get somebody else to sub in for him and I could play that instead. So this week... We're actually going to be playing Gym Leader Geo from the GBA, who who is volunteered to uh, sub in for Shady Penguin. And you already know, I mean, if you watch my GBA games, the games that I've had with Geo have been really fun, fast-paced, offensive games. So I, I recommended him to play versus me because that would be a really entertaining game since, you know, you already know, World Battle Entertainment, WBE, is supposed to be entertaining. So, um, you know, I, I'm going to be playing Geo, who is going to be using uh, Shady's team or his, um, his overall roster. So... That's going to be pretty fun, I think, um, as a replacement. I didn't really want to go a week without, uh, you know, without uploading a WBE game or trying to take a 6-0 win, which is pretty big overall, but still, like, I didn't think that would be fun. So, um, yeah, we're going to be playing Geo this week. And whatever the score is from this match is going to be the overall um, score for this week for, for myself, for the Gym Chargers. So, or, or for us, I guess. So, um, I think that'll be a lot more fun overall. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and talk about Shady's team, which Geo is going to be using. He's going to have a Tapu Fini, Ferrothorn, Dragalge, Meloetta, Gastrodon, Trevenant, Mega Pinsir, Thunder Asterion, Ambipom, Mesprit, and a Guzzlord. This should have already appeared to your right. And he's also got the Electrium Z, which is applicable on a Pokemon such as Thunderous. I mean, I'm sure other Mons may get electric coverage, but really mainly for the Thunderous, I'm guessing, because that Electrium Z can be used really well on that Pokemon. Um, I guess with Nasty Plot or Agility perhaps even, so um, should be, it should be interesting. He has a lot of threats on his team like Mega Pinsir, Thunderous, two of the biggest threats on his team I'd say offensively. Uh, Meloetta can also be kind of an offensive threat, maybe Sub-CM or even like the Relic Song set that can change his form perhaps is another option for him. Um, he's got some pretty decent defensive um, options that he has on his team such as Ferrothorn, and um, Trevenant even, I guess, maybe. Um, his defensive walls are, are a bit interesting, I guess. Like, they kind of have holes. I mean, he also has a Gastrodon too. So, like, he can he can bring Ferrothorn and Gastrodon. Maybe run a Shed Shell on Ferrothorn. So that he can avoid getting trapped by Magneton. Like, that I have on my team. And then have, like, Gastrodon, which kind of walls Magneton. So, I didn't opt to bring Magneton this time. Because of the fact that um, if I have to beat Ferrothorn, I'd run HP Fire. But then I can't beat Gastrodon, which I need HP Grass for. So, it was really kind of conflicting. Um, in that scenario. He has Tapu Fini, which is a Pokemon that I definitely 100% ex uh, expect him to bring just because of how much work it can do. The fairy type coverage is really nice and, um, you know, Tapu Fini is Tapu Fini. Like, that, that Pokemon is pretty good. I think that was his first pick overall, if I'm not mistaken. So, I can definitely expect to see Tapu Fini, probably Mega Pinsir, just because of how offensive of a threat it is. Thunder Asterion is something that I also expect as well. Maybe Ferrothorn as well as... Um, I guess Gastrodon is an option for him to bring as uh, alongside that Pokemon. And um, I guess maybe Dragalge could be the last one. Like, I don't really see Mesprit or Guzzlord coming to this matchup. Maybe not Trevenant. But Trevenant's actually not a bad option versus Cobalion. Because if it runs a defensive set, it can Wisp and it can... Uh, it, it can be immune to fighting coverage like close combat. It's also a pretty good option versus Diggersby being able to, uh, I guess, resist one stab and, and being immune to another stab, which is the return that I have on my team. Um, so I think he has a couple of options that he can bring. That Geo can definitely, I think, use this team pretty well. I think he's used Tapu Fini. I'm sure that um, he'll be he'll be kind of familiar with that Pokemon. Um, but yeah, those are, that's kind of my first impression of, his, uh, of the team. And um, let's just get into the squad that I'm bringing right now. As you can see, I'm bringing the Venomoth, and this, this is a Pokemon that I just traded uh, from last week. I brought Dusk Noir, I remember, from uh, the match that I, I, I announced that I was going to be trading Dusk Noir for Venomoth. And um, Venomoth is going to be the Pokemon that I'm going to be introducing in this game, as um, I think it can do pretty well. I'm rocking a Koba Berry so that I can take a quick attack from Mega Pinsir. It should do less than 50% with the Koba Berry, so that can be really useful in order for us to Quiver Dance up 
nothing to nothing to trifle with of course this pokemon is a huge huge threat to his team as tinted lens will hit not very effective pokemon for at neutral damage so it's going to do a lot to stuff like tapu finny dragalge thunderous pokemon such as those even pincer even like a pincer if it tries to switch in it'll take a lot of damage and um you know we have roost quiver dance roost for that longevity because i want to be able to heal up on pokemon such as gastrodon and tapu finny finny and gastrodon i don't think can really break through venomoth uh, too well so that's going to be fun and bug buzz for that main stab move with quiver dance it can hit really hard i'm running enough speed so that we can outrun his um i believe what was the fastest pokemon on his team ambipom i think so we can outrun ambipom at plus one so that can be pretty useful and um you know we can set up multiple quiver dances multiple quiver dances over special attackers such as finny gastrodon even dragalge like if dragalge has um is not choice vexed and if we quiver dance up it's easy to set up over that pokemon because of how we can boost our special attack and spe uh, special defense and the cobalt berry can really help us out a lot taking quick attack from mega pincer so i think it's a really good pokemon to start off the team and a new one at that so i definitely wanted to introduce it i guess um as a first uh, time using it. Next we have here a Diggersby. So I definitely wanted to bring Diggersby because it's a Pokemon that can uh, check ground, uh, check electric type Pokemon with its ground typing. With like the Thunderous for instance, um, you know, it's, it, has, it has the ground typing. So if he's running some kind of E-Belt Thunderous perhaps, um, it's going to be outrunning it. Uh, I mean, if it's like a Scarf Thunderous, then we got to watch out for that. But um, I think Choice Scarf, um, I, of course, set it to the same uh, type of speed. I think it's the same speed as, um, let me see, it's 123. Uh, 133 okay so this one in particular this set in particular is going to be able to outrun i think i said it to outrun uh Meloetta pirouette form i'm not too worried about uh you know for venomoth because he has to relic song first which means that um i'll be i'll still be faster than the regular Meloetta form bug buzz hits that super effectively so i'm not too worried about that but for diggersby in particular because it's uh, it has a normal typing i st i wanted to make sure that it was at least faster than the Meloetta pirouette form which is normal fighting type and we gotta be careful of that, I guess, a little bit. So this Pokemon can check a lot of things on his team. Um, I mean, the only normal, the only Pokemon that can resist or be immune to return is Ferrothorn and Trevenant, both of which get hit super effectively by Fire Punch. So I think this set here can work well. Has the U-turn from uh, momentum and um, overall a very offensive and scary Pokemon for his team. Um, so then we have here a Cobalion, and this Pokemon is just mainly for Stealth Rocks. I figured like, well, I mean, looking at um, looking at the Pokemon that Shady brought, he didn't really like. I was looking through some of the replays. He didn't bring um, Defog on Pokemon like Finny when he had Pinsir, but I know Geo probably will have Defog on Finny if he brings Pinsir. So I still think the Stealth Rocks are pretty useful overall, just so we can pressure Pokemon weak to Stealth Rocks such as Mega Pinsir and Thunder Hysterion. So I think in that regard, it's going to be useful. But I think I wanted to, I, I opted to bring Cobalion. Like I initially, right, for this team, I had um I had Cobalion, or I had Magnezone over Cobalion. The reason was because I wanted to try to trap Ferrothorn. But I realized, you know, in, in counterplay, um, Ferrothorn can easily run Shed Shell or a Akaberry with Bulldoze or something. And um, I think Cobalion works a lot better versus more members of his team. Like with Swords Dance, we're still able to break through. Like with Swords Dance Z move, um, Steelium Z, it's still able to have a pretty, pretty solid chance to Oko max HP, max defense Trevenant, which is really good in case he brings that. And um, even versus Gastrodon, SD close combat is going to be hitting, hitting like really, really hard versus those mods. I think it's really solid to bring Cobalion instead because while it may not trap Ferrothorn, it essentially will give it a free setup over Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn can't really do much to Cobalion, even with Bulldoze or whatever, even with some kind of like super effective move. Cobalion has a pretty naturally good defense, so it'll be doing a lot of damage. And I think in that regard, Stealth Rocks SD2 attacks with Steelium, Cobalion will be doing really well. Um, let's talk about our last three members uh, real quick here. And um, as you can see, we have our Mega Latias, a Pokemon that has uh, been doing great in giving me some Ws. As um, you know, whenever I bring it, Combine Roost two attacks. So I'm running Stored Power T Bolt, pretty standard uh, Stored Power set with with um, you know with T Bolt Combine and what and whatnot. I think this Pokemon here is great because um, you know we can Combine up once. This thing can kind of set up over any kind of uh, type of Finny that is not um, you know running any kind of like offensive set. If it's like a defensive Finny, um, this thing can Combine over it. It can T Bolt, Stored Power, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know it. it, it sponges hits really really well due to its um, amazing bulk and um, I set it to outrun Mega Pinsir which is the fastest Pokemon that my Latias can outrun on his team and uh, 
yeah, other than that, um, you know, I think it's a pretty solid mod overall. In terms of what it can do, it has some good typing so it can resist his um, thunderous, uh, you know, thunderous uh, thunderbolt and stuff, volt switch and things like that. And um, yeah, as well as like, it can be a good, uh, a good check to um, members of his team. So I think that uh, I think that Lottie can do well in that regard with combine stored power. Can really take advantage of his team if he doesn't have options for it, like like toxic and stuff. I think um, you know I think Lottie can do pretty well offensively versus his team. Um, then we have here Mandibuzz for Defog. I figured that because he has a Ferrothorn and a Dragology, he has options for Rocks, Spikes, and T Spikes. I guess Mesprit is another Pokemon that gets Rocks, but I think he'll bring Ferrothorn. Um, much much more likely uh more like likely or over um over mesprit i think so he has options for some multiple hazard stack but i think that uh, defog on mandibus is great also because a defense a defensive mandibus can uh, help me out a lot versus um other underrated mons like amber palm for instance if he brings that i mean mandibus can sponge hits relatively well with its natural um you know bulk and um versus mega pincer as well i think this set doesn't get to it KO'd by uh, Mega Pincer's return, so it's pretty good overall. It can take hits relatively well. Knock off to get rid of items like, um, you know, Ferrothorn's Berry, perhaps, or any kind of um, any kind of item on any other Mon. Foul play for that damage, Defog Roost, and Rocky Helmet for that chip. You already know. And finally, I'm bringing Obama Snow. I think Obama Snow is really great. I've been bringing Obama Snow a lot to a lot of different matches, and I think I mean it's such a great Mon with its typing. And even though it has such a plethora of weaknesses, it's just such a great mon. In terms of uh, what people have on their team, the ice and grass coverage is really useful versus so many different matchups. And um, I'm running Giga Drain, Blizzard, Ice Shard, Protect. Essentially, you know, this thing is there to check any kind of Thunderous and um, I guess also uh, Mega Pinsir that get out of hand. With the Focus Dash, I can live any hit. And um, the only Pokemon that can really take... Um, Ice, a combination of ice and grass moves are, um, I think, maybe like if it's an AV Meloetta, perhaps it can do that, or um, or Ferrothorn if it's healthy. Other than that, like the combination of both, his team really has nothing for. Like Giga Drain is super useful versus Gastrodon and Finny. Blizzard hits really hard versus Mega Pinsir and Thunderous. So, and even and I guess even Guzzlord, but I don't ex I don't anticipate Guzzlord to come unless you know he's really worried about Laddie and brings a Dark type or something. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the team overall. I have Protect. Oh yeah, I have Protect as well. So that I can uh, essentially Protect on Fake Outs from Amber Palm if he doesn't bring that. Or get some extra chip damage if I need to. Um, but that's going to be it from me. Hope you all enjoyed this team builder battle going up tomorrow, 24 hours from this video. And uh, yeah, even though we're not playing Shady Penguin, we're still going to get a battle this week. Uh, and it's going to be a fun one, I'm pretty sure. So um, Versus Geo. So I mean, it's definitely going to be... Um, a, a game, I'm sure that it's going to be a game that's very entertaining. I'm hoping that it's full of mind games and uh, some good predictions and a fast-paced offensive game for you all because I know how Geo plays. Geo knows how I play. So um, it should be fun for sure as uh, he's going to be filling in. So yeah, be sure to check out his channel once uh, you know I get that battle up because it, it should be a fun game for both. I think he's going to upload it as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, A-Drive approved and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So I'll see you all on the battle going up tomorrow and, uh, and peace.